Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Tyler or Ifan, whatever you guys want to call me. Today, I'm going to discuss a question given by my teacher, Mr. Katan. Um, it's a challenge question. It states that the car accelerates uniformly from rest and travels 200 meters in 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, the car continues to travel at the same time, at the same velo final velocity for an additional five seconds. And they want us to calculate a few things, which is the car's acceleration during the first 10 seconds and the final velocity of the car after 10 seconds and also the total distance covered by the car in 15 seconds. And in the fourth question, they also I, uh, asked why we choose um, the Suvat equations for each of the sections. So already we can tell that um, we are um, required to use the Suvat equations. So here are the five Suvat equations. <clears throat> and after we have all the equations that and formula that we need, we can start to analyze the question a little bit. <clears throat> now, it states that the car accelerates uniformly from rest. Now, accelerating uniformly means it's a constant acceleration. And um, starting from rest means the first initial velocity should be zero. And it travels 200 meters. So our displacement is 200 meters and time is 10 seconds. Now, that's the first part of the question. We can see that this question is actually um, split into two different parts which is the first 10 seconds and the next five seconds so in the next five seconds the car continues to travel at the same final velocity now what does same final velocity mean it just basically means that there is no acceleration and u is equals to our v and time is five seconds and displacement is not given so we just write all the information that we had down and then if we still can't understand what the question is um, really talking about we can actually just quickly sketch a velocity time graph or um, yeah just a velocity time graph to visualize to help us understand the question better now we can see that from 0 seconds to 10 seconds, the velocity is constantly rising. That is the constant acceleration. And from the 10th second to the 15th second, it is a straight line, which means there is no acceleration and the velocity is the same. Now we'll just leave the graph up there for us to you know, look at it when we do the question. And <clears throat> we can <clears throat> start solving the first question. Now, they want us to find the car's acceleration in the first 10 seconds. And what information do we have in the first 10 seconds? We have the time, the displacement, and the initial velocity. So we can use this three information plus the thing we want to find, which is acceleration, and see which um, equations is um, suitable this for information, which we get s equals to ut plus half a t squared. And after we get that equation, we just put every information in and solve it. We should be able to get the acceleration, which is equals to 4 meter per second squared. <clears throat> now question two. This um, is uh, also the same thing. Um, we, have, we have to find the final velocity. We have uh, information, uh, initial velocity, displacement, time. We also found the acceleration. So we actually um, have more information, which means we have multiple choices of um, equations to choose from, which is um, V equals to U plus AT, or we can choose S equals to half V plus UT. <clears throat> now, we can see that in question four, they um, want us to choose the most appropriate um, equation to solve each part of the problem and we have to explain it. So if it was me, I would choose 
to use the s equals to half u u plus v t reason being in the first equation v equals to u plus a t there is a small risk um, because we are using the a value that we found earlier so if we did somehow make a mistake in the first question and we use the wrong information to solve the second question, we might get both questions wrong. So to avoid that risk, um, we will just use um, the information that's already given to us in the question. So as equals to half V plus UT, we just put all the values in and we're able to get the final velocity, which is um, 40 meter per second. <clears throat> now let's look at the third question. Third question states that we want to find the total distance, which is from the zero second to the 15th second. But there's a slight problem because from zero seconds to 10 seconds and compared to 10 seconds to 15 seconds, it's two different scenarios. So we need um, two different ways to do it. But actually in the first 10 seconds, we can already see that the um, distance covered is actually given, so we don't have to do any extra calculations for the first 10 seconds. We only have to consider the next five seconds. Now, to, cal to calculate the distance in the next five seconds, we can see that we already have the information of time, initial velocity and final velocity, which is both the same. So we <clears throat> can just use the same thing s equals to v plus u over t put it in and then we are able to find the total distance of 400 meters and the fourth question i've actually um, already answered it while solving question one two three so i think that is it from me and thank you see you guys next time